Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the canyon. Welcome back to another installment in the Quick View series. This is one that doesn't come off uh, up very often. We've done one, two, I don't know. Today, what we're going to look at is the GT Power XT X2 Pro Dual Intelligent Balance Safe Charger Discharger. And before we get too far into it, we're a couple seconds in. Let me talk. Let me talk about my requirements for a charger. Charge batteries and be at least somewhat intuitive. I, I'm not asking for more. Uh, any charger that you get nowadays is going to charge lithium ion, lipos, lifes, LIHV, NIMS, NICADs, let us. It's going to charge them all, right? Uh, you have to go back in time to find a charger that's not going to charge all of the battery types. So I, I don't really care much about form factor. Uh, whatever shape you are, that's fine. Uh, most every charger nowadays is AC or DC. I haven't had to run a charger off of DC in many years, and I'm not upset about it. If I don't have to have an external power supply, that's great. It is worthy of, of, of note that this is a, it says power 400 watts, two by 200. That is if you're running off of DC. It is half of that off of AC, so two by 100. 100 watts per channel is plenty, is plenty. And, and how you'll know this is, this is a 19.24 watt hour battery. So you need about 20 watts of power to basically charge this battery in an hour. If you're charging it at its normal at a one C rate, so 100 watts is plenty. You have plenty of overhead. You're gonna run into oh, I wish this uh, charger had more power. If you're charging monster 6S packs all day, then you're gonna want to go ahead and get the DC. We've got T plug to X260. We've got a power cable. We've got. T plug to XT60 because like most of the chargers today, the inputs are XT60s right on the snoot. So it's not going to have any of your little uh, add-on bits. Uh, we're not going to like my my, my work a day, my iMars. So we've got this is for XT30. We've got XT60 to XT60 because I charge my lipos in bags. So you're going to have to get standalone balance boards like this, which would go pretty much like that. You don't. I mean, you don't have to. You can indeed just take the battery and uh, sell one is this way, right? Or sell one this way. That's what I can never tell. Six to two info. So like like that yeah like that so you can just you can just do this i don't i don't like that so i like when chargers include that kind of stuff but we won't hold it against it the x2 pro and it is a it is a strange little form factor it's like a robot's head there's your dc input there's your ac input there's your big old thing uh I looked it up online there, here, here, and thereabouts. They're hundred bucks. They're hundred bucks. There's also a Hexfly version. Hexfly, Hexfly is Red Cat's in-house stuff, and they they just rebadge. It's not, it's not, it's not actually a thing. Oh, that is. We're gonna have to. Uh, I am going to have to mess with the uh, <laughs> with the exposure value. That's just white. That's just white. I I was. Okay, if we can get this to we can get this to lean a little bit. No, that's too much. This is this is what they call planning ahead, everybody. All right, now uh, let me let me let me turn the lights down a little. There we go. It's ooh, it's it's like we use that day and the night filter that they use in the movies. So I have no recollection of how much charge is in this battery. Let's see here. We'll do we'll do better the second time I promise. This is why I I'm a fan of the balance board because where did I put it on a balance board? Uh, it, it's hard to mess up two S three S four S five S 
success. Right. Uh, lithium battery mode, select, okay, channel, okay. Okay, I see the lights now. Uh, select, long hold, no. And th this, this is to what I am referring. I, I am a fan of this because, whoa, you can barely see that boy now. It's nighttime. Uh, you plug it in, you go. You plug it in and you go. So, oh, start. Okay, there we go. Okay. Um, nope. Start, start. Okay, we would want to do 1.3 amps. Okay. And we're going to, uh, 3.7 volt, one S. Uh, why is it not, a? why is it not just, okay. Point again for the Genzase, it just automatically recognizes whatever's plugged in. Do I not have this plugged into the right? Pins, start, start, 1.3, oh, okay, yeah, there we go, 3S, then it's usually a long hold, woo, oh yeah, it's a 4S, Uh I'm not saying that I would hold this against it. I'm not the smartest. I'm just saying that I want it to be so easy. Okay, so it's not the top. It's the bottom. There we go. We got there. And this battery does need charge. I should have gotten a bigger battery because, ooh, oh, come on. I mean, it's wholly unnecessary, but man, who doesn't look at it? I mean, you know, it's bonus points. It's a charger. It does charger things. And this is a level of difficulty of getting to what we're after that is not like, I'm not going to go, oh, no. Oh no, let me find, let's see, let's see if we can't get the fan to kick on. So we'll get channel two hooked up, but I will grab, I'll grab a big boy. Not that big boy. Tell me if the fan kicks on, cause I can't see it from down here. All right, here's a 5200 2S. And to make it easy on myself, I'm going to plug a balance board into the other side. Because we'll see if we can't throw five, watt, five amps at channel two and get the fan to click on. All right. Channel. Lithium battery mode, yes. Start. LiPo charge start. And we'll, go to, we'll go to 1C. So we'll go to 5200. I was honestly, I was hoping to grab a 3S down there, but I can't see because it's dark down there. So we'll go to, that is a 2S, 5200, yes. Okay, that's all good. Long hold start. It agrees, and we go. I do, you know, you know what noise is good? No noise. That's so quiet. That's that's good. Uh, I'm sure at some point we'll, we'll, we'll get it to kick on. Oh! Is it changing colors more? No, it's it's just me. Uh, you know, it does the things. I am a big believer in multi-channel chargers, at least two channels. If you're in the market for a charger, go for at least two channels. Uh, if there was if there was a point that I was going to hold against the X2 Pro, the power comes in from the back. It basically wait. Wait, hold on. 
Okay, now now we can't see what it's doing anymore. Uh, the power comes in from the back, whether DC or AC. So you can't push it straight up against a wall. Uh, the fan is also on the back, so you would not want to push it straight against a wall. Most every charger I have used, uh, the stuff is going to come in from the side. I've got a big ProTech that I use on a daily basis, and everything comes in from the sides, and it's very flat. This is an odd form factor. I thought for sure we were going to get a fan kick on at some point, but it's like, no, nah, no, nah. and uh, we should be able to, we should be able to see individual channels. Yeah, there we go. We can see, oh, nope, uh, 3.58 volts per cell, so we can see the volts per cell. Uh, now, again, my qualifications are so low. Here is the program flow chart for the charger. No, I don't, I don't need any of this. I need to know this stuff. I want a charger that charges batteries. And in that hundred dollar market segment, uh, it's pretty crowded. This is, uh, okay. We're pushing five amps into one and one. So we're doing six and a half amps. Realistically, we would be good up to about 10 amps total. So you could charge a five amp on this side and a five amp on this side and you can get away with it. When we're talking about rock crawler stuff, our requirements are so incredibly low that honestly and genuinely, you're going to be buying a battery charger because of the form factor and the convenience that's that's kind of what it's going to come down to. Do you need to transport it? Then you're going to think and you're going to think a lot about the size. You know. This guy costs $30 more than that one. It doesn't come with the the stuff either. The Protex do, but the Protex costs significantly more. $100 is kind of my top end threshold for what I want to spend on a battery charger and honestly, uh, I love this, and I think that at, that actually serves a purpose while we're at it. The one thing that I would have preferred was that I grabbed a battery that is more charged. We might just we might just stop that guy mid charge. I want to plug a I want to plug a full battery into it, a battery as close to full as possible, so that we can get it. There we go. This little fella right here is at 4.92. Now, this also gives us the, okay, I see stop right here. So if we want to stop this one, for, I'm doing it. You can't, it's just white. Okay, we're charging the little 4S guy. It says stop down here. What happens if I just, if I just yoink it? Okay, it gets mad. Good. How long does it get mad? Not, not too long. All right. So then we hit stop to, to clear that out. Okay. And then we hit stop. Okay. And now we've cleared it out. So there is a stop button. The, the iMars gets really mad if you unplug stuff while it's working as well. Okay. Now we do have to turn it down to 3S for this. So we will go start, charge. We're, you can safely cha charge these little guys at like 1.2 at 2C. So we're going to go up to 1.7, which would be double. That way we can get it to peak faster. Then we'll get on to 3S, long hold, and we'll start. So connector. Did I miss? I don't think I missed. Lipo charge, 3S. That's definitely, that's def, that's definitely a 3S pack. This, oh, you know what? No. It's, it's as fun to watch me fumble as it is to watch anyone else fumble, but we do have the technology. That's why I like balance boards. Okay, so we're we're at twelve point six. This this pack is full, and it will try to squeeze 
some more in there, but it's going to realize pretty quickly that, like we've gotten one milliamp into it, it's going to realize pretty quickly that it's not getting anything else into it. That fan, that fan is not kicked on. I mean, aside from grabbing something even bigger, I can grab like a 6003S and put it on the other side and see if we can get the fan to kick on. I, For me, charge batteries, be at least remotely intuitive, and don't be obnoxiously loud. I guess, I guess those, those are, I guess those are the big three. I'm trying to find another, uh, adapter here. Let me know, let me know if that thing goes off over there. That's not it. Is that it? There, nope, that's bullets. Yeah, see, all of my adapters are all bullets because Protec uses bullets. Seeing if I can't make a, uh, what, what, what can I throw together? It's go. Oh, we're st we're starting to get a little drop on it. Just just bear with me for this. What do we got? No, that's another two S. That's a sixty two hundred though. It's a two S sixty two hundred. So if we put this guy at six point two on the other side, we'll see if we'll see if we can get him to hop over. All right. So we get the usual. We get the that that's the same. The, the 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 chirper the tweeter the little piezo element that's in there uh, has to be the same piezo element that's in that is used in a gajillion chargers because we get the b do do b do do b do do that that exact thing and then it's done it says full finished we can we can look at cells right yeah look at four point two across the board ooh fuel hundred percent cell four point two all right it's done. Some chargers will give you a little bit of a, I'm going to get obnoxious on you. It'll be like, did it, did it, when you have a fully charged battery plugged in. I don't know if I love that or hate that. The Gen Zace does it, and I don't know if it makes me angry or if I'm like, yes, it is good to know that that battery is done. Because apparently, now, here's the other question. Do I have to hit stop, or do I, or do I just pull it? Yeah, it is hit stop. Yeah. Okay. So let's do one more little. I just, all I'm trying to do is get the fan to kick on. So I still have one remaining 2S pack that has been switched to GT90 or IC5. So we're going to, uh, we got to go, we got to go back around the horn. All right. Let's get up to 1C, 6.2 amps, that is a 2S again, and we're just, man, we're just not going to get the fan to go on. This was my primary complaint about my workaday charger. Uh, I, I have two that I run side by side, a Prodigy 610 Quad from Protec, which I can't use while filming because it's so unbelievably loud the fan runs full tilt boogie as soon as you plug it in no matter what you're charging if you're charging this or if you're charging a 6x a 6s pack the size of six king size snickers melted together the fan runs at the same speed the gen zace will click a fan on every once in a while this is apparently just a little quiet boy there's no there's no warmth coming out of it so the X2 Pro, the only negative I can see is if you have an issue with the form factor. If you don't have an issue with the form factor and you're not pressing it right up against a wall, it does, it's, it's got little moldies to help pick it up. Nice. Um, we, I'm, I'm sorry that we couldn't get to hear what the fan sounds like, but hundred bucks. You, it's, 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 it's pretty all right. I would definitely order some balance boards at the same time because people and get some lead get or make some leads uh you're gonna want oh, it's still super dark again you're gonna want to make leads like this because learn learn charge in bags charge in bags little 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 fellas like this 
get yourself some lipo guards. I, I just, I, I don't even bother to, I mean, you can transport in the, in these as well, but you put the whole battery and everything, the charge, the, the balance board and everything, you put it in there and you close it over because it doesn't happen often and everything's fine until it isn't, but I have some burn marks on my workbench. Let's, let's put it that way. And that was reason enough to get to, to convert me over to charging in little lipo guard bags. They're inexpensive and they are peace of mind, inexpensive peace of mind. So yeah, X2 Pro is doing the thing. The box and the little, uh, the little manual, the little manual, uh, uh has many, it, it explains everything. It explains everything. And I honestly, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to because we're performing a very simple action. We're capturing free pixies, which are actually, they're just flowing magically through this wire. And then we're converting those pixies and then restoring them. It's just pixie storage. We're just moving pixies from one state to another. It doesn't have to be complicated, nor should it. Uh, like, this is the, the limit of my technical ability. It says on the little thing, it says six down to two, and it says one there. But I... I tried this guy at both sides, and if you will notice, if you've never looked at one, there's there's always just one red wire on a balance cable. Just one. Just give us a red dot. That's where the red one goes. Just put the red dot somewhere. Anyway, X2 Pro, solid. It's solid. I really wanted that fan to kick on because I need to know how bad is it. Gen Zace one's not bad. The ProTech one is terrible. This is, this is nice. This is a display that anyone who's ever had a charger will be very familiar with. My ProTech is this in reverse. It's white on blue instead of blue on white. Kind of an Indiglo display. Remember Indiglo? Woo, there's a throwback. So yeah, not, not a bad little fella at all. hundred bucks, you know. Hundred bucks and you're done. Realistically, you if you have it, I keep thinking it's going to kick on, but it's like a truck driving by. Uh, you, you're not you're not going to need more. If you get to the point where I am and you need six channels of available charging on the bench, then you know you're looking you're looking at something else. So, GT Power X2 Pro. I have not seen them on Amazon. Uh, maybe the Hexfly can one can be found on Amazon. I have to assume that it's the exact same charger, only it says Hexfly right here across the top. Uh, the guts inside are realistic, pro realistically probably the same guts that are in every 610 style charger. They just they just jiggle the case around a little bit different to give it some some flair. I've seen this kind of vertical format. I know I've seen it in someone else other than the GT Power and the Hexfly. Uh, I, I enjoy the little Mandalorian light beam in the front because above and beyond the bidu 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 when it's done, you just look over to where it's sitting on the bench. And if you see the, uh, you see the little guy going down, you know, it's, it's still charging. You know, nothing's gone. You know, nothing's gone wrong. So there you go. Take it into consideration. If you're in the market for a charger, it is certainly an option. Uh, I, I don't have anything. I don't have any strong negative words about it. It doesn't come with balance boards or extension cables, and most of them don't nowadays. Um, if I was going to give it one, well, I mean, it has these, but those are just adapters. And their inclusion of the adapters, that's fine, because you can use both of these as extensions. You could just cut the deans off if you don't have deans in your life, or you can make a series of adapters, like how this is my adapter cable that I have old homeless T-plugs, Deans, and I just use them for everything. I just make little adapters for everything, whether IC3s, IC5s, IC2s. I just make these little pieces and hook them on so that I can charge whatever I need. Or JST, Futaba plug, you name it. Uh, chargers are like lathes in which you're going to end up with a whole bunch of extra stuff that you didn't know that you needed, but guess, guess what? You end up doing it. It's got a power cable. I would have I would have preferred to also have seen the inclusion of a cable that looks like this 
Generally, if you see a blue XT60, that's a power cable in case you want it, want to run it off of DC power. Because for some folks going places, DC power is the only option. Like if you're full portable, you could take this guy and a little gel cell battery and charge your batteries deep in the woods. Then the form factor is a little big for me. I'd be looking for something a little smaller. Overall, it's positive and, uh, yeah, make, make your own decisions. The, the, a charger has to do something bad for me not to like it. Like, I don't actively recommend the 610 quad that's sitting right behind me because every time you power it down and power it back up, the, the screen here has a series of warnings that you have to cycle through. And it's effectively four chargers in one housing. So each one, imagine this display, instead of having a channel button, it doesn't have a channel button. It has four individual discrete channels. You have to cycle through the warning messages on all four channels. Oh, it's del it's delightful. Absolutely delightful. Uh, it didn't give us any warnings. Like, do not use charger unattended and uh, put them in bags. Either stand here and watch it the whole time or put your batteries in bags. G2 Power X2 Pro. Uh, I j Honestly, I prefer it over my ProTech because... It doesn't make a peep. Now, we're, we're not going to assume the worst and that the fan doesn't work. There's no, it's not even starting. It's still like room temperature. It hasn't started to get warm yet. And that's good. It's pushing 6.2 into that and 5.1 on the other. So it claims. Should, should, can, would. I can't remember the formula for watts anymore. Amps times voltage. Is that right? So five times five, yeah, so this thing's pulling like 30 watts, this one down here, and this one's pulling like, wait, so, so, yeah, they're pulling in this 30 to 40 watt neighborhood, and we have 200 watts total power, so we're well within range. It's enough for most folks. If you're charging massive 6S packs all day, you're going to want something with more sauce, and you're going to want something running off of DC power. But if you're if you're charging crawler batteries... Definitely consider it. You know what you should all cons also consider? Commenting below, and while you're at it, in between now and when we meet again, doing the very best, doing your best to have a good one, everybody. We will catch you in the next one here from the Canyon. And now I'm trapped here with this because these batteries are like, are uh, like not even halfway charged. So I'm going to go find something else to do. You should go find something else to do as well. I will... uh I will catch you next time.